hello 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 you all welcome back to my channel thank you for commenting on my last um video that i posted about my diy um, locks um, and they are permanent locks that i use with human hair um, i dyed them myself created them myself um, and then installed them myself so what i'm doing right now is i actually was doing my hair and i said you know what this is a perfect opportunity for me to come and share with you all what I do. So um, what I do, I don't have the hair. I should start off by saying, I know there were some comments asking me um, about the hair that I used. I will insert it here for you all. Um, I don't physically have a bundle, which I should, because when I do, um, re do a fresh retie, um, I usually have to like go in and add some hair because from washing it, it thins out sometimes, like where my natural hair and the lock um, that I created connects the extension. Um, so that's 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 a problem, obviously. So when it gets thin, I have to add some hair, and then I just kind of I go in with my um, crochet hook. So let me grab my crochet hook. I'm gonna use a 0.5 tool. And then well, I have two of those that, that I use. I like this one because this one's kind of messed up and it's almost acts as a one while grabbing. I, I really like this one better than I like this one or any of them. And this is the one that's like broken. Let me show you. So it's not focusing. Anyway, um, so one, the like the curve is turned that way and then it's turned the, that way so it's like two different directions which I really like um so I'm gonna go in the first thing I'm gonna do is I like to spray my hair with water and rosemary or oil that's inside um I just shake it up and because I washed my hair last week I'm not washing my hair again I'll probably wash it next week but this is how I like to do my reties I actually like to wash my hair first wait a couple of days and then I do my retie um, because the hair is clean, cleaner, and, um, you know, it's not so much, um, it's not too much, uh, like, work all in one day. I'm sorry, you all. This one is, this lock here, it is, um, you know, loose. So what I'm doing is I'm just going in and I'm tightening it by just, like, moving the crochet hook in and out and then moving my hand you know around with the hair left to right left to right um i am gonna say it's a lot of work but you all this is the best hair decision i've ever made um i am actually going on i started my lock journey in october november december january february almost five months and so many people thought i was going to take it out and like that was going to be that and you know i'm five months in but the reason why they say that is because i was a the type of person where i would change my hairstyles like every two weeks once a month but like i always had new hairstyles so the fact that i've kept this in for five months says a lot but the reason why is because it's so easy like i have to work i'm a single mother like you know, um, I do a lot of other things, like I'm working out, I'm trying to lose weight, like my focus right now is really in my health, so that's where my mind's at, along with like taking care of my family and my other responsibilities. Um, but anyway, I use a water bottle and then I'm gonna add some oil to my scalp, right? And that's actually the only thing that I add. Um, and in this oil, in this um, bottle here, there is some oil that I added to this because this is old. So um, I have like peppermint oil, um, black uh, Jamaica black castor oil, almond oil, like different oils. Um, and I just like massage that in. And then I'm gonna actually take, I have a mirror over here too. Let me show you guys. So I have a mirror right there. I'm gonna actually open that mirror so I can see the back of my hair. That's, oops. That's how I, that is how I'm able to see the back of my hair. Like, see, I get to open it. I'll, I'll do like this. And then as you can see, I can see it 
from looking in this mirror over here, I can see all my hair back here. And then I just turn when I need to, you know, do the other side, I look in this mirror. So that's what I'm about to do. So that's what you guys are gonna see me do. Um, yeah, but you know, if you guys have any more questions, please add it below. Like, I love the fact that, you know, you all are interested in doing this. I know I was. Oh, I forgot to mention that I have this bag here with all like my locking tools and stuff. Um, so this is honestly some of the hair, like when I go in to fix the hair, I actually use this hair, which is like old track hair, which is crazy y'all. But I paid a lot of money for this. I made these, tr these tracks myself. You know, this is human hair. So I just go in sometimes because it's already red and um, outside of using the bulk hair, which I love, I actually, I love it better. This one I have to like tease up and make it kind of, um, make it a little more kinkier. So then that way, when I put it on it, like the texture is, it matches. Um, but what I am gonna use is this hair clip here. I have a bunch of these. Um, I have clips like this as well. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip it away the, the top row so I can really just focus on this section right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tool. Where's my tool? If I can find my tools. Uh oh, I had took it out. Now I gotta go look for it. All right, y'all, I'm back. So they were on my table. Um, let me get some water. I'm telling y'all, water is everything right now. All right, cool. I'm using this tool here. Um, I ordered this off of Amazon and it comes with, I wanna say it came with five tools. This one, this one, and then this one, and this one. Um, that was only four. I don't know what happened to the fifth one. I think it's in here where, I also keep some of my locking tools and stuff. Um, but this is my favorite one. I really, I don't know, I just like this one. The way that it's curved, it's easier, it's thinner to go through um, my hair. I also have these, I tried to like, I, I watched this actually, I watched someone do this on their YouTube page. Um, and the video that I was watching, the woman lit this hair and it melted and then she was able to kind of open it up without breaking it. I'm not able to do that, I think, because I am heavy-handed, and that's just a fact. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. And I should say that the last time I locked my hair, it I mean, the last time I um, interlocked my hair, it was probably a month and a half ago. I think it was before Christmas, actually. Yeah, so it's been like, no, nah, I don't think it's been before Christmas. Has it been that long? I think so, y'all. Like right before Christmas, I think I locked my hair. Interlocked it. Anywho, I'm gonna clip the hair away and I'm gonna begin to take my lock that I want to interlock, which is this one here on the edge. And I just separate it. Oh, I already did this one. I keep doing that. I'm gonna grab one that I haven't done. All right, I'm gonna grab this one here. I'm only gonna go in with my fingers and separate the hair. I'm not using any combs or anything like that because I really don't wanna break the hair. I had to already go in and cut twice because just a little tiny bit of hair because I guess I had by an accident that um, I interlocked it into another lock by an accident and then I had to cut it. So I'm trying to still keep my hair as healthy as possible. Um, but anyway, what I do here is I go in, down. I only do a two point rotation, you all, just two points. And then I come across. And then I just can, oh, I got some hair, see y'all? I should be looking in the mirror, but I'm trying to show y'all. Um, so I pull it up and I pull it across up and across, up 
I mean, down, I should say. I'm saying up. Yep. So that is how you do it. I will continue to. The back of my leg hurts, y'all. I'll continue on the second row and just keep doing that. One of the reasons I like to um, not wait to retie my hair is because at the root, those hairs, some of the hairs from other locks intertwines around other locks when you leave it for so long um, with new growth. So I try my hardest to do it like once a month, even though I know I like skip this month a little bit, but see like this, I have hair stuck in the other lock. So I have to like separate it. I'm gonna have to cut this because it's like in the other lock. This isn't good, you all. Again, I don't like cutting my hair. I try my hardest not to have to do that because what that does is it just thins out the root. And I don't need this to be any thinner because I did these small, you know, they're small size locks. They're not um, micro, micro, but they're small enough. And I can tell that I'm not going to be able to do all this in one day. Normally I can do my hair in like four hours. Um, not even, sometimes it takes me like two and a half hours, not four. And because I waited so long, I now, it's gonna take much longer. And I don't like that. But sometimes, you know, I get a little bit lazy, which isn't good, and don't wanna do it. So that's the thing, ladies, and or gentlemen, or, you know, neither, um, all genders. Um, so yeah, what I am doing is just making sure everything is looking all right. And I have to cut that last one, that ain't cool. So I gotta make sure I'm separating all the pieces from each other. That's why I wet the hair and I add the oil because that helps it, it like loosens it up some. So what I'm gonna do is, you guys, you know, now see the process. Um, I'm gonna do my own thing. I'm gonna come back once my hair's finished. All right, all right, leave that. Hey y'all, I'm back um, with my hair all done. It is the next day, and this took me about an hour and a half to do. I finished my retie. But yes, um, it took me about an hour and a half to do, um, you know, the pros with having faux locks or they're not faux locks, but they are uh, lock extensions. The pros are, 
you know, my hair is always done. Um, it's versatile. I can do so many different styles. I can dye it, which I've done a few times. And, um, you know, it's just like a great style just in general. It's a protective style. It's easy. Um, just get up and go. Uh, the cons are every time I wash my hair or sometimes do my hair, if I do it too hard, um, I usually have about a few that will slip out mainly when I wash my hair. Uh, it'll pro it'll be about, I'll say like around four to five locks each time I wash my hair that I have to, you know, continue to put back in. Um, yeah, so that I would say would be like the number one, um, con, but again, I love it. You know, I'm just so grateful um, that I'm able to do this for myself uh, because it saves me a lot of money, a lot of time. Um, yeah, but yep, this is my hair. Thank you for watching my video. If you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. You all let me know what you all want to see in the comments, what other kind of videos you want um, to see me do in regards to my hair or DIYs. Um, please, 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 please. Let me know. All right. Well, you all have a blessed day. Bye.